Hi everyone, this is Propeller Boy, and I'm here today uh, playing Toby Fox's Earthbound Halloween Hack. Um, I have no idea what's in store for me, but Earthbound is one of my very favorite games. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Undertale, which is Toby Fox's game, and uh, uh, clearly there were many aspects of Earthbound that influenced uh, Toby Fox in creating Undertale. So uh, I was delighted to learn that he had actually made a hack of, uh, of Earthbound and uh, before he made Undertale and so that is what I am going to play. So this is Toby Fox's Halloween hack of Earthbound. We'll see what the story is here. Whoop. I've set up my control and everything. Oh! Well, it begins already. We have a custom loading screen and custom music. That's great. Uh, we're gonna go quick. What's your fave Frank? Hot dog or wiener? I'm gonna go wiener just for the lulls. Window style. Scarlet Doom, please. Oh! So it's not Ness, it's a lonely bounty hunter. What should his name be, Toby Fox? Derek. Long Lost Hero. Alright, well that's original. Is this going to be Jeff? Yep. Last of the Lost Ones. Yep, it's Pooh. Firstborn Man Dog. Is it King? Wolfo. <laughs> Alright, fine. Favorite food ever. Steak. Scampi. Risotti. It'll be risotti. That's very good. I'm not psychic. Uh, okay, it's the original series of... Let's go with hugs. Well, here we go. Uh, really excited about this. Uh, here is the first chapter of Toby Fox's uh, Earthbound Halloween Hack. Here we go. Well, very interesting. So the, the music here has been altered slightly. Uh, so this is after the original events of Earthbound. Looks like we're in Tucson. Outside the Chaos Theater. Yep. Very exciting. So I guess it's not just a... Uh, oh, Varric sleeps standing up apparently. Apparently it's uh, oh, I stand corrected. I was gonna say maybe it's different than uh, like different gameplay. It's got to be different gameplay, but this begins the same way that Earthbound does. Meteor hits. Varric comes out of bed. Varric, Varric, wake up, the bounty hunter. Get up off the floor, idiot. Whatever you're dreaming about, it probably isn't even real. Just get up. Really, I have no idea what you're doing. This isn't where you're... Oh, jeez, Varric. This isn't a joke. Wake up or I'll call the cops. I don't have to drag you out over all this puke. I guess that's a dream sequence? Oh. <laughs> See, uh, I had to drag you all the way out here. Try not to fall asleep drunk in the middle of the show, okay? With all that armor, you weigh jeez. That being said, uh, the manager wants a word with you. He's over there in that room to the left, which, uh, it's the one behind me. Just go straight. Sorry, just be more careful, Varric. Try not to get trouble with the boss. Oops. What was I dreaming about anyway? Sometimes I dream I'm a taco. Or, <laughs> well, anyway, good luck. Alright, fine. Alright, so I'm in the Chaos Theater. I'm level one. Two's across the board. Do I have anything? Oh, I've got some stuff to equip.
Puking all over the ground may hinder the experience of the other customers. That is true. Please keep this in mind while you enjoy our show. If you want to see the manager, please step right through this door. You might want to wipe your feet, too. <laughs> Puke all over. Oh, it's Burkle! Hey, 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 I'm ex-mayor B.H. Burkle of Onette. No, no, I'm not here to get you in trouble. You're a pretty popular guy. What's your face? <laughs> Ever since you drifted into town like some straddling cowboy, people have been flocking to my show for a chance to see you. I don't know where you came from. It doesn't really matter. No, what I have to tell you is really important. The people are terrified. They need a hero. And yeah, girl's parents... They were found dead in their own home. Well, this took a dark turn. Parts of them, anyway. Oh, boy. The girl said she saw some horrible creature break the window and lurch inside. She saw it slowly stagger in your parents' room. She sat there petrified, silent, and fearful for her very life. Through her door, she saw the monster grab her parents, tear them apart, shove their innards down its throat, and scream hungrily, its much mouth drenched with blood. Okay. Crime scene reports have returned nothing conclusive. Scabby footprints led officials back to the long sewer pipe that connects Foggy Land to Foggy Land. They've deducted that the creature came from Winters. The towns reinforced their manhole covers, put on a curfew. For the most part, life's getting back to normal. Everyone figures that they're not as unlucky as the Rosemary's. Nobody wants to worry about getting eaten alive. Catch my drift. But boy, was it shocking. Where'd that monster come from? Are there more of them? Look, kid, you look like a hero, you smell like a hero, and everyone can tell that sort of thing. Go find where that monster came from and kill it. It's not a request, it's a demand. Ignore it if you want, but the blood of innocence will be on your hands. Well, this is dark. Here's the key, yuck, yuck. And I got the key to the sewers. All right. Well, so apparently this game is very difficult. Uh, Toby Fox himself released a strategy guide. I'm only going to refer to it if I am stumped. <coughs> I love buying my ticket. I also love words with icket in them like picket, cricket, lick it. That's fine. I'm buying a ticket to see the sexy sisters. I bet they're really attractive. I'm sick of wannabe beauties like those two sluts hanging out next to the bus. <laughs> hey handsome, we're the world-renowned sexy sisters dancing every night at the Chaos Theater. Yeah, the sign says Runaway 5, but now that those guys are famous, it'll just make more people come to our show. Burkle is either lazy or a genius. It's freezing out here, I have to get a tan. I'm jealous of all those leaves turning brown just like, just for some, from some cold. Hey sis, put me in the refrigerator. Well, geniuses. Geez, I'm such a big Runaway 5 fan. I can't believe they're performing here again. What? They're not? Well, I can't let this go to waste. So are these the sewers? Uh, the sign reads Tucson Sewers. The sewers seem to have been accidentally left unlocked. So you step right in, not wasting a moment. As you descend into the dank, dark underbelly of the inner sewers, the brilliantly lighted reds and yellows of Tucson are exchanged for seedy browns and the gnarly stench of rotten water. Ahead of you lies the roaring dark, echoing and yearning for your company. This is dark, man. The light of the town cries behind you for forgiveness. A sickly warm breeze like the breath of some terrible fiend wafts across your face, forming a deep pit at the bottom of your stomach. You have a bad feeling. Okay, I'm gonna level up first. Um... This is what has been advised. I know there's some things around town. I can gain a little sense of the characters here too. Let's see. I have OCD. I must stand next to signs or I will kill someone. Well, good for you. What's Burglin Park looking like here? Everdread wasn't such a bad guy after all. It's been a few months, so don't chastise me, but in retrospect, I really wouldn't want any other crime lord running this park. I feel you, man. I feel you. Huh. This is the greatest Mexican stereotype costume ever! <laughs> Hell yes, Mexicans! <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Okay, stuff to kill. 
Oh, hey ladies, what's up? I heard Apple Kid's dressing up as a tomato for Halloween. How uncreative. That dreamy orange kid is dressing up as a tangerine. What? You say it's unoriginal? No, no. It's meta. He's so avant-garde and swooned. What's your story, orange kid? You still a douche? Salutations, peasants. Wee you. You smell almost worse than Apple Kid. In any case, I'm Orange Kid, the amazing inventor. Although you can call me Tangerine Kid if you couldn't tell from my amazing costume. Ha <laughs> ha. On Halloween night, I'm going to try and pick up some sweet things. I'm not really talking about candy either. Anyway, you smell a little funny, but that's a great costume you got there yourself. If you're hanging around here, maybe we could hang out. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, bye. What? I don't have any tomatoes. All I have is this really bad gut feeling and it's not from anything I've eaten. After me and Dr. Andonuts invented the phase distorter, the kids went back in time to sacrifice themselves against Gygus. Well, that's interesting. I got this awful feeling in the pit of my stomach. Of course not that just that I of course not that I just feel guilty setting them back in time. Statistically it was the right thing for us to do, but I haven't seen the doctor ever since we got the bad news. Where could he be? I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You can just call me King Manly Pants the Third until then. There's nothing but plain old feces in the trash can. Well, some things never change. Are there enemies? Oh, there we go. You meet the pseudo zombie. Uh, did I? Ooh. Well, that did not go the way uh, that I had intended. Okay. I didn't even get to fight. I did equip all of my nonsense, right? Yeah, good. Um, well, so... Uh, the pseudo-zombies... I am not ready to fight. Come on, I want some encounters. Well, no, I don't. No, stay away. Okay, I'll take the jack-o'-lantern. You come over here, friend. Come here. There we go. Hopefully you won't destroy me like the candy hide. Loser! Oh, that's out of a fight! <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got 9 XP and a Halloween candy. Spooky. What do we got over here? Tunnel to 3. The ghosts in the tunnel have come back, so I can't go to 3 then. Normally I'd be scared that Gygus is rampaging again, but it's almost Halloween, so I figured I'll give them a break. Alright. Come on, encounters! Where are you? Oh, goodness me. What did I get? A sub sandwich. That's nice. What's in the trash can? The stench elemental. This bit is pumpkin seeds. A pair of dirty socks and his teeth were white and his breath was fresh. The brightness of his teeth made me scared. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, I get it. He's got very clean teeth. There we go, that's gotta do it. Excellent.
Okay, good. Come on, encounters. I would like to be better equipped to fight the sewers. It's apparently very difficult right off the bat. We got anything up and around here? Trying to find things to fight. Maybe I should have stayed down by there. Oh well. Make my way back. I talk to some of the townsfolk. The ghosts are back in the tunnel. To me, it just sounds like a cheap trick to prevent people from going to three. Or yeah, stupid pranky teens. Me and my friends are gonna have a sleepover and tell scary stories, except with the Rosemary's dead, it seems kinda of, really seems kinda of redundant. Yeah, it's true. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Global warming has allowed the growth of some positively nasty specimens. Well Paula beat up Gygus all by herself. That glass is wearing punk tagging along? Dead weight. I bet she's vacationing on some sunny beach wearing sex pajamas and a swimsuit. Ooh la la. Not a Jeff fan, I take it. Well, let's go back and I'll fight more pumpkins. Hopefully. What's in here? I told you a thousand times, Munch Munch, unless you got Almond Joys or Baby Ruth's Munch Munch Munch, don't knock on my door when I'm eating Munch Munch. Alright. Come on, encounters! I want to fight ya! Trash can? Just stay away from the zombies. Stench elemental, just don't use your socks, please. I'll take some pumpkin seeds, that's fine. Oh, come on. I'm getting nickeled and dimed here. Okay, fresh, fresh breath. Well, I can survive four more of those attacks. Provided no smashes. Good. Do I even have any psychic power? No, I don't. The 12 PP points, though, that's weird. Magic Butterfly made, Ver made Varric relax. So I was at full PP. Am I at level? What level am I at? Level 3. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. That was perhaps stupid. Because I am at low health. Oh well, no guts, no glory. Well. <laughs> Epic fail. Am I at full HP? 34. Ooh, I had some cash. I guess I keep losing cash when I do that. Alright, um... What the hell? Two and sewers. Back in I go. Oh! I thought that was something I could pick up. Putrid Poltergeist! 
Oh boy. This is not good. Oh boy. Well, I'm level four. Sleep stun. I mean, well, it'll probably kill me. The obsessive recycler. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No big deal. Easiest way to get full HP again. No PP though. Huh. Oh. Nope. I'm gonna try and go up and down. See if I can get a better path. Oh man, look at all those trash cans. Good gravy. Two of them. Boy, that's this is this is nuts. That's good. Good. What do we have in here? There's a garbage can lid inside. Well, not the most effective shield, a garbage can lid will prevent against some shock attacks. Attacks. Now, if only it didn't smell so bad. Okay. Uh, can I equip it? Yes. That's good. Oh no! Well, this is a little better. It's like halved my damage. Still not great though. <clears throat> Go into the water, I guess. Yep. Oh, you move fast, sir. All right, the obsessive recycler probably gonna kill me. Oh. Trying to get a greenie on him. Didn't work. I mean, hopefully if I level up a little bit, this will be a little easier. Uh, okay, what does the strategy guide have to say? Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to level up in here. And I can buy a weapon from Berglund Park, alright. Well, that's what I'll do. I cannot take two at once, I'm sorry. I want to scope this out. Oh. Oh, I didn't see you, trash can. You're sneaky. You're a sneaky monkey. Violent vermin missed. Putrid poltergeist, five. I mean, I'm probably going to die. Oh, 
Oh, gravy. Oh, well. Good. So he's like the the Ooh. All or nothing with those attacks. Okay, I'm level five. Time stop, that's interesting. Well, I'm gonna see if I can make it to that trash can. There's a phone. That's nice. Uh, I definitely can't make it if that guy's there. Well, let's see what happens. If I'm lucky, if this kills him, oh! If I kill him here, oh no, it's over. Yeah, nuts. Um, so what do I have, like, a buck? Yeah. I'm gonna see... No, I'm gonna go, uh, the strategy guide does recommend seven deaths. Seven enemies, and I've killed, what, like, four? No, no one over there? Don't want to fight two at a time, that's for sure. Oh, good. I like this. Sweet! Good RNG there. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Like, that's ridiculous. I'm so dead. How was I supposed to know there were two of them? Oh, I might be able to do it though. Still utterly futile. Well, the obsessive recycler, a continuous attack, 10 damage total, not so bad. Come on! Oh, thank heavens. All right, well, I'm dead now. At least that time I knew there were two of them. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to level up once more. And, uh... Then I'm gonna go buy some kit from, uh, Berglin Park. Sweet! I really love that, like, autofight is loser. That's so amazing. What level am I at? Level five. Yeah, I want to level up to six. Come here, Mousy. No smashes, please. Violent Vermin. I asked for no smashes. Good. How close to the next level am I? 17 experience, all right. Well, that shouldn't take too long.
Oh, that's not good. That is not good. I don't think I'm going to make it through this. They all have more uh, initiative than I do. <coughs> well, I can survive one more smash. But no, I can't. Please let that be it. No, don't smash! No, you're good! Alright, that should level me up, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay, so, um, I'm going to go take a look and, uh, I'm going to take out all my money. Oh, the hotel is over here, right? Where's the hotel? There's the hospital. Whoa. Oh, I'm so dead. I tried to get away and I couldn't. Oh. Come on. Oh, I don't believe it. I mean, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but you know. It must be quite a rich boy to stay at such a nice first class hotel like this one. Yeah, whatever. Okay, what do we got for cash? Withdrawal... 192 bucks! If I hadn't died a million times, I would have, uh... If I hadn't died a million times, I would have had, like... 20 more, I think. Game Saving Hotline, would you like me to keep a record? Yes, please, alright. Do you want to take a break now? Hell no, keep on calling, the first five minutes are free! Yeah. Amazing! Alright, to Berglund Park I go. Sorry, I just having some uh, bean salad here. It's delicious. Um. I sell all my rulers, you'd say that I could that I rule, except that I'd probably get me punched in the face, wouldn't it? I inherited some antique weaponry, but still junk to me, man, what do you want? I want the rapier. I'll take that silent dagger. Is this the uh, for sale guy? Antique shop are the only old things that have a rock. Science class says some of these rocks are millions of years old. Come on, everyone, dinosaurs could have walked on these. Around fall the flies start dying. Ah oh, well, my superb baking will surely make up for that. What would you like? Um. Hmm. I'll buy a bunch of garlic bagels. That's what the strategy guide says. Pumpkin loaf too. up on these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I sell this to you? No, I can't. I think I had like a Halloween candy, right? Oh, I have a sub sandwich too. I forgot about that. <coughs> okay. I don't want to fight you. To the sewers I go. Uh, 
Um, you know... Five bucks. I'm gonna go back to the hotel very quickly and uh... oh man what the crap is that that's terrifying Hey, Mr. T, what's up? Parents keep freaking out, but kids finding needles or metal in their Halloween candy. Creeps. Some of us like the taste. Well. Alright. Back to the hotel. Deposit my money. Oops. Make another save. Yes, please. All right, good stuff. All right, here we go. Good luck, folks. Good luck to me. Well, I already started out pretty well. up here. Alright, screw it. Oh no! Oh, I was not paying attention to my HP. That's hilarious. Uh, okay. How much does this stay here? One night stay will cost you 50 bucks. No, I don't, but I don't have any PP though. Huh. Let's try this again. Game is very difficult. Definitely jack the uh, difficulty level up. Was there a save there? No. Oh, come on! Oh, that rapier was worth it. Holy smokes. I'm not very fond of you, Violent Vermin. Well, there's a phone. I'm going to be using that phone for show. Uh, so how's my health? 27. That's three smashes. Ooh, I'll take it.
Definitely gonna say. Ugh. Oh. I've reached the heart of the Tucson sewers and you continue onward to Foggy Land, even though Winters lies incredibly far away, even though you've been coerced into destroying a monster who may not even exist. Some forbidden force drives your legs yet forward. Minutes, hours, days. An unknown, boundless amount of time passes since you opened the door. I really wish I'd used the phone before I went through the door. Like the undead you've been chosen to fight, you lurch endlessly forward as if in a trance. After what seems like infinity, the walls seem to darken uncharacteristically. They drip with a viscous purple liquid which burns to the touch. The water's hue slowly drifts from dark brown to an unfamiliar foul-smelling red. Suddenly, eyes are burning into you from all sides, and your head is pounding with fear. You kneel over and clutch your stomach tightly. Something is so wrong, so, so wrong. This can't be. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 What the hell? Um... All right, well, I can't go through that door. Oops. I don't know what that little arrow does. Well, that's nice. I'll take that. Now, 20. This is some crazy stuff, folks. It's a lot of enemies. I just feel like I can't fight them all. No! What the crap? Oh! Like, what the hell am I gonna do for this? Oh, rip the eyes out of my sockets. Brain shock from the evil ecto. Tiny plaque dripping teeth. I'm like, I'm gonna die before I even get to like... Kill anybody. Oh boy. I really wish I'd hit that phone. How was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know? Very frustrating. Well, the moral of the story, kids, is you can't fight four friggin' guys at once. What? Well, at least I didn't need to worry about the phone, that's nice. Oh. One guy? I can probably handle one guy. Preemptive scavenger. Preemptive scavenger dart around at random, leaving a trail of filth. A splatter, leaving the twitching remains of dripping goo? Wow. So it looks like the ectos are one-hit kills, and the scavengers are also one-hit kills. What's in here? A moldy cap, but I've got too much stuff already. Um... Oh, good. I could, in fact, get rid of the key to the sewers. Really hope that doesn't return to bite me in the ass somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna equip it, sorry. Good. No other guys. One at a time. Evil Ecto. Well, Evil Ecto shrieked in an eardrum rupturing scream. 7 HP. Come on. Brain shock. Did not work on me. You're dead. Disappeared in the darkness, cackling. Let's see what the garlic bagel does. Max 
boxes me out. That's nice. Oh boy. Okay. Apparently, these things are one enemy, eh? No, can I use... That's all one enemy. Tried to crush his bone between my T12 HP, boo! Brain shock. Vomiting rotten bile in its mouth, I couldn't move. Okay. I'll bash the evil Ecto. Oh, come on! Alright, so you don't do too much damage. Oh, no! Shit. Tried to suck my blood! Tiny black dripping teeth. Twitching remains surrounded by green goo. Uh, I will use garlic bagel. Shaking gas, me muttering incoherently. I'm just gonna use it to be safe. Bash the over recycled. You just missed. Thank you. It's Fourteen. Wow. You know, White Shock does not seem... White Shock did not seem to do much to that guy. Um... Man. Stay with a little uncoagulated blood left in its body. Well, dude, he's doing like, ugh. Thank heavens. Level 7, very good. Alright, folks, uh, I am going to save for now. I think this will be it for the first chapter, but this is the uh, opening stretch of Toby Fox's amazing but very difficult... Uh, Earthbound Halloween Hack. We'll see you next time. Hey, Boomer Buddies, give me a hug.